Hey guys, it's Amy from Paper Crane Wishes, and today I'm going to show you how I use these Dollar Tree sponges to make a really quick, affordable card along with some Dollar Tree stickers. So I just got some cardstock and I cut it in half. I use the Crafter's Companion um, scoring set that I purchased from HSN years ago. This has been an integral part of my crafting room and the way I organize things. So this is what I usually use to score things, but you can use anything that you usually use to score. And so I just basically cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of regular cardstock in half and squared it off so that I could make some nice rectangular cards. With the Crafter's Companion tool, I opened it up and I was able to use the razor edge and the ruler that they have so that I can have precise measurements. I'm really not into measuring, so I like things to just be easy and quick. And that's what I really like about this, especially since we're just using a very simple uh, cardstock. So here's the razor that is included in this uh, Crafter's Companion tool. And as you can see, I'm messing with it a little bit, and then you can get a close up of what the razor edge actually looks like. So it's just teeny tiny edge that you have there, and that actually helps to cut it in half perfectly. And it's so quick, and you don't have to get out the scissors, but this tool also makes bows and does all sorts of things. Um, so it's definitely worth it. I think I paid $35 for it back in the day. Uh, so I'm just, you know, using some scissors to make sure that they're all rounded out and look pretty, and they do. Those look beautiful. Um, and then you just tuck it back in the razor once you're finished and close everything out. So now that we have our two blank white cards, I'm going to take some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and also those sponges that I got at the, the Dollar Tree. So I'm taking those little sponges and I'm just going around the edge of the car card to create this kind of washed out faded blue kind of uh, dreamy frame around it and so what i love about these distress inks and i'm just starting to get used to using them is this technique that you can go on and you can create a beautiful background edge that's faded and all you have to do is try to blend it in together as much as you can so you can see as I slowly go around after I put the ink in I just go out and I I blend it and blend it so that it starts to look a little bit faded and gives it this sort of dreamy dreamy edge because that's really going to make the uh, stickers these really colorful amazing stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree pop out once we get them once we get them out and going. So, you know, it does take a little bit of, of rubbing to get it in, but once you do, you're gonna have this amazing border that looks fantastic with your cards and also master a technique that you can put onto blank white cardstock whenever need be. Here's a close up of what the logo looks like for the Distress Ink. There's also the affiliate links in my uh, description below if you purchase through those affiliate links. Really helps me out and it supports my channel at no cost to you. So be sure to check that out. And I'm also using, you know, this other color so that we can kind of demo both of them. Um, what's wonderful about like Dollar Tree supplies is they can just go such a long way. They can just go such a long way. And I think you can buy these in packs of like 25. So you can get, I don't know, like 75 of those little sponge things for super cheap, 25 bucks. I don't know. Okay, so then I've got the stickers that I'm taking out, and these are the Dollar Tree stickers. You can find them if you just go to the crafting section. Their crafting session section is insane. So yeah, I really liked um, how these turned out. And what's nice if you, because I felt like it was kind of white, so I thought you know I'm gonna add a little bit more to it because I really wanted things to pop out. So as you can see, I just, and what's wonderful is I just go in there, I kind of go to what direction is gonna make it the most colorful and whatever sort of final product that I make. And there you go. And what's nice about these is you can just flip them open, maybe put in a stamp that says happy birthday in it, 
or you could just have it as is and give. And it's a beautiful, thoughtful gift that was blended and created by you that you can give to all of your friends and really share. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. When I go live, I go live on Sundays, whenever it's the Sunday time to do it and you can stream yard in, promote your own stuff or just listen to the crafty news of the week. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.